Hi, it's Dr. Rogini. What I want to share today is one of my old videos I just found today. And this video I've done about uh, four years ago in 2019. What I'm talking about is how to manage stress and manage anxiety, especially when you have this big dream and you have this big to-do list. Okay, and a lot of people end up quitting. So this is a really good video if you want to watch. And I want to share one more thing. If you're watching the video, you see a big banana leaf tree. That was actually one of my favorite trees. I don't have that tree anymore. Now I'm rethinking I should get it again. Okay, so I, if, if you look at my old house, like I had so many trees, okay? My first house before that, we bought that banana leaf tree. And the reason why I'm gonna share about that tree is it's about manifestation. So when I had that tree, I visualized myself that I want a bigger house because that tree didn't fit my first house. And I also imagined like living in a house that it's, it's fulfilling my dream, like my desires, okay? So I started visualizing all that stuff. And funny enough, after we bought that tree, everything started manifesting faster. Yes, we had to go through a lot of grief, losing the other house, letting go. I meant like losing, letting go of the previous house and moving to a new town. But at the same time, whatever I dreamed and visualized, I got. Okay, that's how powerful our visualization is. Next, in that house, um, it's... It's crazy. So that there I kept visualizing further. So that house was just my intermediate house from where I live right now. Okay. And the crazy part is it, it happened very fast. Okay. The manifestation process happened like very exponentially. And also I tried also planting one of the tree because it made a lot of babies. So I tried to plant one of the baby outside in my backyard to see if I can get a new tree. And I don't know because we left that house. So, and it's, we live in Canada. So I don't know if you can grow a banana leaf in Canada, especially because I tried to protect it. Like, you know, there's so many ways you can do it. I tried testing it out. But if you have tried that, and let me know if you tried that because I would really love to do that and try it again and see if it works in Canada, especially we have this cold, cold climate, right? And um, so we'll see you back, we'll see you on the other side of the video and let me know what you think. Hi, this is Dr. Rogini. So today I'll be talking about uh, on how to uh, work on if you feel overwhelmed with your uh, to-do list, um, especially when you have a to-do list for the day, when you have a, to, a big to-do list for the week or for the year, and how can you really get to do them without feeling that overwhelmed. But I'm gonna talk about more holistically and how you can connect with your body and be conscious of it and kind of let it release as you go through your steps. Um, the reason why most of the time you feel overwhelmed is because your brain is further ahead. So you're basically, think of all the steps that you have to do for the day or for the week, for the month, for the year. And, and then you come back and you feel like, like while you're thinking of that, your body feels like is not there. Your body is way behind. So your brain is going probably 100 miles an hour, even more than that. And then your body is going probably like, half and half a mile an hour so you want to really kind of find out where this disconnection is and typically when you feel disconnected you may feel the disconnection um more like i mean by disconnection is basically your body doesn't feel connected together so it's more like where your upper body your your traps and your neck muscles your scalenes and your SEM, and you may even feel like heaviness in your head so much pressure that you feel like you want to quit you don't want to do your um your you, you don't want to even start and this is one of the reasons why a lot of people quit and they want they have this amazing dreams and amazing things that they want to do but they just can't do it because of this because their mind is racing farther ahead and then they feel the anxiety so I'm going to really uh, help you to uh, understand that, how you're going to be conscious of that, become conscious of that. So, so like you can even close your eyes right now and think of the to-do list 
that you have for the day. So you may have to do this and that, and then just really focus with your body and you can feel the tension that's just so heavy here and you may feel lighter below it. So you may feel lighter, lighter more in your heart chakra. So when you tune yourself in more to the heart chakra, so you, you bring the energy down and you become conscious right here, you can feel that heaviness starts to shift down into your heart chakra. And this heart chakra will start opening up more as well and where there's more loving energy coming in. And uh, the ones above that, the stress will start to slowly fade away and disintegrate or transmute and leave you. So then you can do that one step at a time where we call that living in the moment. Um, and then you can do those step-by-step -step process and get to do your stuff. Uh, the best way to do that is, again, you should connect with your body. And the best way is to do is take your time away from your to-do list and really kind of sit down and meditate. If you don't like meditating, get out and start walking in, the, in nature. Um, some people like to listen to music. Try not to listen to music that has too many words. I find it it's too much, too stimulating. So you, you want to really, for me, it's better if I have no sound or sometimes... Um, very minimal music, just like um, flute or piano. It depends what you like. And then just kind of feel your, uh, your body parts. And once you start feeling them, and then just kind of like, if you feel too, if it's too much and you start getting anxiety, what I would suggest that uh, it's best to get out and get some fresh air and come back in and start working on it again. Again, there's so many ways you can do this. Um, this is one of the way, and I find this works really well. And especially with my patients and with my patients and the clients and with myself as well. And um, pick what works best for you. I hope I, can, um, I did help you guys. So if you have any questions, please put your comments down. And so I can speak about it more in the future. Thank you for watching.